name is Jasmine Woodson. Hi, my name is Silo. I'm Karen Watson. I'm Yolanda Johnson from Georgia. This is BB Diamond from New York City. I'm Dana Galen, and I'm from Tampa, Florida. I live in Hagerstown, Maryland. Out here in Maricopa County, Kalamazoo County, Michigan. I am a proud African immigrant living in Florida. I'm from the great state of New Jersey. I'm Angelina from Philly, and this November, I am not voting for Kamala Harris. I am not voting for Kamala Harris. I am not voting for Kamala Harris. I am not with Kamala Harris. I I am not not with with her. her. I'm not with her. I am not with Kamala Harris. I'm not with Kamala. I am not for Kamala. I am for Donald Trump. I am not with Kamala. I am not with her because she is not with me. I support President Trump and the economic policies our country experienced under his leadership as our 45th president. President Trump will support our law enforcement agencies and fund them appropriately. Donald Trump made me proud to be an American. I'm with Donald J. Trump. We need a leader who can make America great again. Trump puts Americans first, and he always will. We need Donald Trump. I and millions of other black Americans will cast my vote for Donald J. Trump. I will proudly cast my vote for Donald J. Trump as our next president. Let's make America great again. <laughs> well, there you go. Welcome back, guys. The other day, I posted a story about Janet Jackson questioning Kamala's blackness. And as soon as I posted, I saw a story that says that Janet Jackson apologized to Kamala. And I'm like, God damn it, Janet, why? 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 You can just, just stand firm. So I was disappointed. Come to find out that Janet Jackson did not put that post out. It was one of her teams that was trying to clean up for Janet Jackson. Janet Jackson fired that guy. And Janet Jackson doubled down. She is not bending the knee. She's not apologizing. She says what she said. She says, Kamala is Indian. (laughs) And now who's mad about that? Who's mad about that? Well, Mr. Zesty D.L. Hughley. The very thing that I tell y'all all all the time just happened with Janet Jackson. Let's catch it and talk about it while it's fresh. So Janet Jackson was asked in an interview about Kamala Harris and her presidential ambitions. And she basically said, from what I hear, she's not even black. Which is literally her right, her prerogative to say what she believes or what she heard. No offense intended. So guess what happens? They send one of the high V's, one of the Democrat shields out of the hive to attack her, which is something that I say it happens every time a black person is critical in some type of way about any person that's a Democrat, a Democratic policy plan or vision. Guess who it was? It wasn't Roland Martin this time. They sent out D.L. Hughley and we know what the D.L. stands for. And this is what he had to say. Janet Jackson's interview sounded like a Trump rally. FYI, it's a little ironic to question whether someone is black while you're breathing through the nose of a white woman. I can't believe that he just disrespected Janet like that. He goes further and says, Kamala Harris looks the way she does because she has a mom from India and a dad from Jamaica. Janet Jackson looks the way she does because she has a plastic surgeon. Now, remember these cats, these Democratic liberal men are always talking about women's rights and respecting women. But look how D.L. Hughley blatantly disrespects Janet Jackson. He goes on further to say, all I know is Kamala looks like she did when she was in Oakland. But Janet don't look like she did when she was Penny. What the hell was in that iron? I could say so many things about D.L., but I can't say it on this app. So I'm going to say it like this, bro. I'm with her. <laughs> there you go, guys. D.L. Hughley. What a piece of sh- Right? Right. But that's your guy, okay? He's the gatekeeper. He tells you who is black and who is not. Only he, D.L. Hughley, can tell you who is black and who is not, okay? So that's that. Now, The View had to jump on, and The View had to put their two cents in it, too. Jackson, uh, 
just did a wide-ranging interview with British newspaper The Guardian. But most of the focus is on when she was asked her thoughts on VP Kamala Harris possibly become the first black female president. She said, uh, she answered by saying that she had heard that uh, Harris's father was white which we all know is false. And a staffer claims that he was fired for issuing an apology in her name and that her team certified he wasn't authorized to speak on her mm -hmm. behalf. Look, I think Janet Jackson, like every other American, whether you're a celebrity or not, has a right uh, to endorse, support, or not support whomever they want. So she's got every right to not like Kamala Harris if she doesn't want to. But that's not what she said. What she doesn't know, what she did was spread misinformation. And I think it's very irresponsible when you have a platform the way Janet Jackson does to use that platform carelessly to spread misinformation based on a racist allegation by Donald Trump. Right? It was Donald Trump who tried to say Kamala Harris just turned black. So let's just go through the 101. Kamala Harris is the daughter of two immigrants. Her mother is South Asian from India. Her father is black from Jamaica. You see, Anna. Anna's supposed to be the Republican on the group. But these folks here love to keep saying that the father is Jamaican. Okay. Now, people from America... Are all the people from America white? No. If I say I'm American, am I white? I, I don't get these folks, man. These are supposed to be educated people. Here is a picture for all of you who need, or for Miss Jackson, if you're nasty. Here's the damn picture. Look, here's another thing. Kamala loved to talk about her mom, Mama Harris, and all the good stuff throughout the whole DNC. The black side of her. The Jamaican side of her, her father is still alive. Why didn't you invite your father to DNC? How come nobody's talking to Donald Harris? Why? He's so black. You proud of being black. Why don't you have your father come out and says what he had to say about his eth ethnicity? Why everybody is not talking about Donald Harris? Everybody keep talking about Mama Harris. Okay, she passed on. But Donald Harris, your black side, is right down the street. Right down the street. You can flew him out into DNC, have the reporters talk to him and ask the questions, where he from, and all that good stuff. But why is that happening? You can shut this conversation down right now, folks. You can shut it down right now. Go get Donald Harris, reporter, go to Jamaica, and go talk to Donald Harris and ask him from the horse's mouth. Stop trying to make her black. Go to her daddy, put the camera in her face, and ask a question, folks. Jesus Christ. Oh, my gosh! Janet Jackson said what she said. She's standing firm. She said, fuck it, I'm not apologizing. And there's a lot of black women out here in America are starting to see that Kamala is a culture vulture. Who are you going to be supporting in 2024? Trump. And Why? Because Trump is real. He's not a gimmick. He tells you straight like it is. He's not a liar. Um, I feel like you're going to get the Trump that you got from the 90s. Uh, he's going to say whatever he wants to say. You know what I mean? Uh, versus saying what we want to hear. That's why. And a lot of people say, because you're black, you're a woman, people will say, well, I'm black, I'm a woman, so of course I'm voting for Harris. What do you say to that about that? She's not a black woman. She doesn't identify as a black woman until it's time to get our vote. What do you think she is? I think she's... <laughs> uh, <laughs> woo! I think that she's a fraud. Yeah, she's a culture vulture. Um, step down. She doesn't belong. And if, if Biden didn't have the health issues, she wouldn't even be where she's at. Yeah, because no one voted for her. She just became it. Yeah, she didn't earn it. She needs to earn it. Yeah, she needs to earn it. Not only the black women, not only the black women, we have this young man here who says he refused to vote for Kamala because... I don't know when people going to get this shit through their head if they can't tell by the video, but I'm one of these motherfuckers that don't give a damn about how people feel about me. So let me tell y'all something, what I'd rather do 
before I give a damn about how y'all feel about me or before I vote for Kamala. I'd rather eat a well-done jean jacket with steak sauce before I vote for Kamala or give a damn about y'all. I'd rather wear Lizzo Thong as a Halloween face mask before I give a damn about y'all and vote for Kamala. I'd rather use Charlie Sheen diabetic needle straight from his arm to mine before I give a damn about y'all. I'd rather use a needle straight from Magic Johnson, the nineties Magic Johnson, before I give a damn about y'all. And I'd rather mop the ocean before I mop the ocean twice before I give a damn about how y'all feel about me not voting by, for Kamala. I'd rather eat a peanut butter filled Popeye's biscuit in the middle of the desert before I give a damn about y'all and how y'all feel. I'd rather sip tea at Bill Cosby house and fall asleep and take a nap before I give a damn about you. Sweet tea! I'd rather tongue kiss a motherfucking King Cobra before I give a damn about how y'all bastards feel about me and, how, and who I vote for. I'd rather vacuum the Sahara Desert with a hand back before I... I'd rather cut 10 acres with a toenail clipper before I give a damn about y'all and how y'all feel about me. So if y'all ain't real live by now, I don't give a damn. <laughs> Kamala Harris is the ultimate poser. She's the wannabe. Nobody likes her. She tried too hard to be liked. And that's why nobody's with her. Anyway, that's my thought for today. Get off my phone.